nice easy job today. Uh, I'm just going to be doing some, uh, some work on this 9 2 bucket here. Um, this is one of our front wheel loaders. We've got two of them here. Um, the other one's getting tires on it just over there, so it's going to be a little bit of noise today. Um, yeah, so what we're just doing is uh, get some maintenance on it. There's some cracks that I found, as I'll show you in a little bit. Um, we'll do some uh, greater blade inside the bucket for some wear. That shouldn't be too bad, a little bit of gouging, a little bit of weld, a little bit of stick welding for the cracks, and then I'll be using that uh, 1cc flux board for the, the wear plates. Uh, this could be a lot more, a lot more weld in there a lot quicker. I won't be at it all day. So uh, yeah, folks, we're ready to do. Let's get some carnage. Alright. See if she starts. I just uh, take some paint pen and then I uh, put it all in the crack and then try and wipe it all away and then I'll show you the crack. And I got one more little one over here. All right, so now it's time to do some gouging. This is my gouger. It runs a uh, run high average. I'm running like I don't know a lot, over 400 at least. Um, they use compressed air and these gouging rods, which are made of carbon, it's called carbon arc. Uh, you basically you create an arc and it burns off the weld and then the air blows away so uh, yeah let's uh, get to her gouged out. Basically you'll see here this one ended up being a lot bigger than I thought actually. Uh, what, so what I want to do is you want to keep gouging until you can't see crack anymore. So uh, yeah, I'll just uh, widen her out a little bit and then uh, keep going down until the crack's gone. You don't want to weld it when there's still the crack there otherwise they'll just keep popping back up.
got her uh, filled up for the most part there. Um, I kept grinding it back because uh, I was overfilling it here when I take off. So I wanted to keep that nice and flush. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along and I'm just going to cap it out. And then she's good to go. She is all it up, capped out, not too shabby. Well, I find my favorite part about being a welder is uh, having 120 volts on your truck all the time so you can uh, make sandwiches. It's got all the grater blade loaded up, it's got some chonkers in there, got two chonkers in there and some normal ones. Uh, I just gotta drive up to the other lay down to the Beaver Creek there and get them unloaded and start welding. Last night I got the grater blade all cut up, fitted in place, started welding it out, but uh, today's a new day and uh, as you can see, it is wet and rainy. So uh, I'm going to pull up my welder, get it all set up, I'm using flux core 1 16th, nice and big wire, laid in nice and hot, so uh, yeah, let's get back to work. one spot here that's buried in water so uh, I'm just going to start the start loader up and just dump it all the water out there and then I'll just load it up just like that but uh, looks pretty slick if you ask me if you're wondering no it never gets old starting up big equipment Uh, go water out of there. See, I tried to be awesome. creative here. I tried to weld through the water. It didn't work. That's fine though. So yeah, it's got another three welds left to do, and uh, yeah, it should be good. Thank you.